Morning, happy Tuesday. Okay, so today, top five tips for keeping your sanity during a weight loss endeavour. Number one, don't put a target on your weight loss. Then make yourself miserable about it. If you're like, now I've had a saying on this pan for years, chase the feeling, not the number. If you've got the water, the walking, and your portions correct, the weight will take care of itself. Please, don't like, don't put this big heavy jacket around and carry around the pressure of yourself saying, I've got to lose this per week, I've got to lose this by the end of the month. Honestly, this isn't a, you know, don't put that target on it, it, it make it miserable. Number two, have fun. Get rid of sayings like cheat meals. Anything that has a negative association towards your food, you need to eradicate out of your plan. Honestly, you know, also it doesn't make sense. Starving yourself for weeks so you can gorge yourself until you feel sick on, on one meal is just, it's lunacy to me. You know, just like, be consistent with your food, eat the food you like in the correct portion, and you'll never have to go, you'll never have to put yourself through that kind of mental torment again. Also, man, if you go to a restaurant one night and smash loads of food, who cares? Right, number three, learn, this is super important, man. Learn how to read the scales. I just, I put a, a meme up about this yesterday. If you're edu if you if you've been educated by a food coach and, and you get on a set of scales and they and you're like oh I, I, why is it saying that and then you have a discussion it's like well this happened this happened what was not been there's been a few reasons why then you're like yeah okay I understand it instead of getting on it wanting to get a sledgehammer and smash it to a million pieces it, you know and really you know they don't they don't do it on purpose to get at you. If you, there's such an easy method to track your weight. I know you got, you know, listen, I'm not training athletes. So we're not doing body fat, I'm not doing all your thing. Sometimes your weight will stabilise for a couple of weeks, but your shape will change. Yes, everyone knows that, so I'm not going to bang on about that. But if you understand why the scales go up and why the scales go down, it takes the emotion out of it. Uh, number four, forget other people's expectations of weight loss. You know, if people say, oh, how's your plan going? How's your diet going? You say, yeah, yeah, I've lost a few pounds. And I'm, Is that what you lost? Oh, I know somebody lost three stone in three weeks. You know, all that kind of thing. Or, or what are you eating that for? What are you eating porridge for lunch? You know, all that. You've got to remember, most of these people are projecting their own really negative experiences with weight loss. It's not their fault, okay? But remember, they've had some really shitty experiences with it. And when they see someone on it, all they want to do is project their unhappiness onto that because that's what they got from that experience. Uh, number five which should be my number five for all of them. Don't be a knob about it. Listen, if you can have fun while losing weight, you will have a positive association with weight loss. You will then understand that you're improving your health. You're not just chasing a number, you're chasing the feeling. And mate, you might even have a bit of fun doing it. Anyway, good. Happy Tuesday, man. Have the best day. Bye.